Welcome back to Final Fantasy 7 my friends and we are going to follow Ojo and rescue Ares but before we do that we need to change our materia just a little bit. So we want to take the elemental uh, materia from Tifa. I won't be using her for the boss battle because Barret's uh, long range weapon will be more useful. And we are going to junction poison and elemental mix them together. That way we'll be a little bit resistant to, to poison and the next boss uses it a lot. We're going to mix up fire and all and we're going to put cure on. As for cloud, he's good. I suppose I could give him the cover material, doesn't hurt. And let's keep the star pendant on cloud. Uh, so everyone is pretty much ready to go. That way the next boss won't cause us a lot of problems. And I junctioned the fire and all material because uh, I do believe that the next boss that we're going to face is weak to fire. And it's quite outstanding to me why Barret just simply doesn't shoot both Oju and the other guy standing over there. But as we learn by now, Barret's machine gun arm is quite unreliable. At least outside of battle. The guy standing over there. See that guy apparently can also do <laughs> deal with the equipment, so you're really not that necessary. What's going on here? What the hell? Are you suggesting what I'm thinking that you're suggesting, you sick freak? Finally Barrett's machine gun. <laughs> Machine gun does something. Jesus. That's a pretty cool entrance. No problem. And here comes our boss. Oh, will you? I'm going to have Tifa take carries to safety because like I said Barrett's long range weapon will come in handy here since the enemy is in the back row. And guys I know that usually I keep the characters names but I hope you don't mind I'm actually going to change Red's name. I'm going to name him after my second Dom. His name might be a little bit weird for you guys, but I called him Garlic. And he was an awesome dog, so I'm going to be using his name for Red, um, because I feel it's a, it's a nice way to remember him. And, you know, he was just such a, such a nice dog, so loyal, uh, so kind, such a good friend. He passed away in 2010, but he shall be remembered now. So I hope you guys don't mind at all. Okay, and we are ready to take on the boss. As you can see, I Squall has his new weapon. Squall, not Squall. Cloud. Those little things that are standing in front of the, the boss, um, he, they, they, they keep coming back even if you destroy them. Um, 
so focus your attacks on the boss. And like I said, don't worry about stealing because he's got nothing of worth to steal. Shady bread. That's going to poison in poison red and bear it, but it should be a little bit resistant to it. Don't worry about healing because we'll be able to take him out before our characters suffer any extreme damage. As you can see, because I have elemental junction to poison, um, I'm actually dealing quite a little bit more. Um, uh, I'm actually suffering a lot less damage than I normally would. Ah, you just counter attack. Now Red's limit breaks, they are, you know, they may not be the most powerful in the game, but you can use them to deplete your enemy's AP and deal other status effects, which is quite nice. And a level up, awesome. And we get another item. Ah, oh, garlic. I swear guys, you have no idea, he was such a nice dog. The most loyal dog that you can imagine. And he pretty much grew up with me. <sighs> I'm actually feeling a little bit sad now. <laughs> Plus I love his team. That's okay, Garlic, I understand. Okay, who am I going to take? Uh, I suppose I should take Aries because I haven't used her in a while. Yeah, this will work out nicely for me. Okay, bye bye. Now don't forget to pick up that material right there, the enemy skill material, which is pretty much crucial to have at this point in the game. Let's exchange with... Uh, why not? And we... We'll want to give uh, garlic and these arms we're going to give to. I suppose I could have organized it a little bit better, but it's okay. At this point I really just want to keep leveling up my materia. Yes please. And we are good to go. Okay. So let's see here. Fire and all, useful. We don't need two fire and all, so I suppose I could give red the enemy skill materia. Uh, Harry's got bio and elemental. No, we're going to go with. Uh, I suppose she is the weakest character at this point in terms of damage, so. Let's use elemental mixed in with. We're going to mix in elemental and lightning, so she's a little bit protected. And we can give her restore. 
try it. Who's got the other all material? Oh yeah, he's got two. He doesn't need to. So you can keep the bio. All and cure, that's going to be useful. Fire. Uh, who's going to be our thief here? Uh, I suppose I could make Cloudy Thief, it's gonna be okay. And we are moving out of here, finally. Now there are two potions over there. One potion, two potions, and we have to threaten this guy in order for him to give us the keycard. Yeah, but I'm not going to let you. Come back here. I want your blood. No, we don't. Now we actually need to add up. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to go down, not up. Sorry about that. Now, in case you guys haven't uh, encountered the soldiers who give Squall, uh, Cloud's uh, best weapon at this point, you might want to consider doing it. What's this? Why should I? I can just kill you. Oh, come on. This is one of the scenes that I don't like in the game. I don't understand why we couldn't just take on Rude and Tseng in battle. I mean, they're not even not, they're not even hel holding us at gunpoint or anything. They're just there. And they didn't, they didn't have any advantages. Um, so yeah, I really don't understand why we just got captured, but oh well. You crook. I do like the detail how apparently he has a cigar uh, in his mouth. That's right, Garlic, you're so smart. You're so evil, dude. Oh, Jesus. Unfortunately, for the most part, he is right. At least in the politician's world, that's what you need. Yeah, we're coming for you. Get over here. Yeah, you're acting all tough right now. and acting almighty, but you'll get what's coming to you fairly soon. Okay guys, now another quick decision. If you want to go on a date with Barret, Ares or Tifa, if you want to go with Barret, first talk to Barret. If you want to go with Ares, first talk to Ares. Uh, but if you want to go with Tifa, you need to talk with her. And apparently if you keep talking with her, just like I'm doing right now, uh, she actually likes you more and more and that increases the chances of going on a date with her, which four times seems more than enough. Hmm, I wonder how Garlic is doing. Oh, Grandpa. Funny scene guys, I don't know if you've been following my Final Fantasy VIII walkthrough. But you know how I named Renoa's dog Angelo Tuki? Well, he was Garlic's father. Uh, 
So I wonder how I'm I wanna see what Paris is thinking. So yeah in case you guys don't know I've had boxers my entire life. Currently I have two, they're named Boris and B. Uh, and if there's ever a Final Fantasy game uh, in the future where we can name our characters uh, and their animals, I'll call them pretty surely B and Boris because they're wonderful dogs too. And they're garlics, uh, daughter and son respectively. And now let's... no, not yet. I haven't decided if I join. Don't be like that. Uh, garlic is actually quite fun. Okay. Yeah. How are you doing, Aries? I didn't pick you last on purpose, it's just to move on with the story. And by the way, I just thought of something. Why do they allow Barrett to keep his weapon? I mean, as far as I'm aware, they didn't, they didn't take off his machine gun arm. Uh, I mean, I know this thing is rather useless, but still. Uh oh. Another cat fight? I'm never quite sure how uh, Tifa feels about Ares and Ares feels about Tifa. I always felt there's always a tension between the two of them. Yes, you will. Don't know if that's a good thing, though. Yeah, let's rest and then we can move on with the story and get out of here. And seems the guards knocked out and our cells open. I better wake up Tifa. Okay, let's get out of here, guys. Because Shinra's security sucks, that's why. Wait for me, garlic. Okay. Come on, girls. And I suppose I should change their materia once again. Just oh, he lost all of his materia. Okay, so we're going to get fire plus all. I swear, didn't I give Tifa carbon bangle? I thought I did. Carbon bangle, there we go. This 
This team is so dark. A little bit spooky too. Okay, let's move out. And go meet up with Carly and see what he's up to. Genova got out. That weird thing with with the nipple, uh, with a knife or a nipple. Jesus, that's really dangerous. Okay, so basically here all we need to do is follow the trail of blood. Oh, and you may just went to... Jesus, that was powerful. What kind of attack is this? I forgot. Oh, it gives poison. That's not good. Uh, you may just want to steal from the guy that Tif uh, the monster that Tifa is eating uh, right now because they they carry a fairly uh, good item, uh, which is the uh, toxic waste, I believe which allows you to use um, bio level 2 and what bio level 2 does uh, and that will be useful for us when we when we face a sub boss later on in the game so you'll most definitely want to steal from him if you have the chance deadly waste that's not toxic waste, it's deadly waste. Okay, so we can finish off the battle now. See, since we got Cloud's new weapon, he's been dealing quite a little bit more of damage. Sea level gain, awesome. That's Aerith's second le level 1 limit break. Well then, that's where we need to go. Uh, wait. There we go. Let's see what we got this time. Okay, awesome, two of them. So, again guys, remember, steal. Stealing is your best friend. Yeah, they're weak to wise, that's what I figured. I don't want to kill them right away. Oh, it didn't kill them. Let's see if I can steal another one. Awesome. Ah, so close to a level up, Ares. One more battle should do it. Okay. Now before we move up and continue with the story, guys, I'm going to stop right here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this segment. I think in the next part we're going to find out what happened with the president and, and what exactly is going on in the Chindra headquarters. So again, thank you for watching and have a wonderful night.